being a board member, one of the most important things that you could do for your association is being able to read and understand the financial statements properly. One of the most important financial statements is your balance sheet. This gives you a snapshot of where your association is sitting at a given point of time. The assets at the top of the balance sheet, followed by liabilities, and then any equity your association has built up. Another one of your assets is your receivables from homeowners. This is dues that should have been paid from your homeowners for previous months and your association has not yet collected them. There's also, depending on your balance of receivables, if it's large enough, it's, it's wise to establish an allowance for doubtful accounts. This is to properly expense any bad debt in the period which it belongs and to also give a better picture of what your assets truly are. Beneath the assets is where the liabilities are listed. The most common liability your association is going to have is accounts payable. These are the bills for your expenses in the month that the balance sheet is reporting on that are, have not yet been paid. And also, another liability you'll have in this section is prepaid homeowner assessment. This is recorded as a liability because the association technically hasn't earned these assessments because they're for future periods. Board members are often confused of what exactly members' equity is. This is the section of the bottom of the balance sheet and it gives the net worth of, of the association's fund that the balance sheet is reporting on. It is essentially almost like your net worth of the fund. Um, the basic way it's you can easily calculate it is you take your assets minus your liabilities and this is the equity that's built up in your association. Depending on what your structure of assets are, it could be cash you spend or it could be tied up with receivables or it could be any other asset that your association may have on its balance sheet. Your association has two types of funds that your financial statements report on. One is your operating fund and the other is replacement fund. Your operating fund is for your day-to-day -day operations, as in rubbish, snow removal, lawn care. Your replacement fund is for future expenditures that are large in nature, as in replacing your roofs, doing siding, and any capital improvements that you may want done for your association. Another important financial statement is your income statement, also known as profit and loss statement. What the income statement shows you is the revenues and expenses of your association. The top of the sheet starts out listing all the various forms of income your association may have, and then it transitions into your expenses of the association. The first three columns are your current period activities. Uh, the second set of three columns are your year-to-date activities, and the last column is your annual budget. Each of the three subset of columns are organized in the actual expenses that your association, or revenues that your association has occurred what you budgeted for this period and the variance of what you budgeted and what occurred. The income statement is also the statement that gives you the bottom line. The bottom line, your, the net income that your association has generated for the time period which the report is reporting on. Here, as you see in the, the actual column, they've had over $10,000 in snow expenses, yet in the budget column, they've only expected to occur $4,500. In the, so this translates, as you see in the variance column, as over a $6,000 deficit in what they expected to be spending. I would be glad to sit down with you and answer any questions you have on your financials.